In this episode of Acolyte, which costs 22 million dollars, people will walk in the forest. Others will also walk in the forest, and sometimes people will run slightly in the forest. And also they shit on Star Wars. Wow! Let's do that again! No! The shit fest starts with absolutely pointless scene. Remember when we showed you Chewbacca in the forest? Yeah, he he's still there. Hey, he should have the crossbow thing. Why would Jedi have a bowcaster? The dog thing in the starboard had it. Yeah, but uh, this is a Jedi, why would- Give him the fucking crossbow or you're gonna end up on Harvey's list. Anyway, I'm sure we're gonna see way more from Chewbacca. Oh shit comes to say goodbye to Horny Girl. You're not staying? I've done what I needed to do. You did absolutely fuck all. In fact, if someone would cut you out, the events would play out exactly the same way. Mob would kill Trinity and Transmaster and then escape. May is the Jedi's problem now and I'm not a Jedi. You know they are both guns, which is fitting because they are written by guns. Still, the one is violent murderer and animal torturer and the other one finds out that her sister is alive after 16 years and she lets her continue her murder spree and then she doesn't give a fuck about her. Just remember that when they pull the Frozen and the sister's laugh is gonna save everything. Anywho, the mob and the not seed master landed on a planet to unpack their trash cans and pack their shits, uh, I don't know. Let's talk about this fuck. There are two options. First, from the first scene I thought this is the seed lord. But in this episode they drill it so hard and they make it so obvious that I'm in disbelief that they would be so fucking retarded. It can't be him now, because this would be the worst hidden secret sit since Palpatine. Or option 2, this is a cop out a la Retard Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! They would beat the Sith out of the Sith Lord and it's gonna be one of the Lesbos. And then they will be like, see, Dick Head's line makes sense now. Because he is a witch and not a Sith, you idiots. <laughs> nice ratings, by the way. That's why they put Keanu Mindy into the show. To make this point that fans are retards. But they forgot that Keanu Mindy wasn't alive yet. <laughs> Now the question is, is it because they are retards and no one knows what they are doing or are they malicious retards who wanted to make fans look like idiots? Either way, fuck them. Some may say it's not that big of a deal, you know, it's a few years. Well, I think it shows that this bitch and this bitch and definitely this bitch don't give a fuck about Star Wars. Which is kinda sad, but then I remember they gave her 180 million dollars to burn. Back to retards. The Jedi have very important meeting. Squid tells them that the mob is trained and she doesn't know her master. Oh, Leslie Cameo. Oh no, no, it's just a pig face. Anyway, Pickle Bitch recaps what we already know. What? Why couldn't you just Skype this to Squid? He wanted to go warn Chewbacca and capture Mob and you told him that he needs to go back for this meeting. And then you came up with a plan to warn Chewbacca and catch Mob? You fucking retarded cunt! This show is so fucking retarded that it makes me think that she's working with the Sith because why would she do any of that? Anyway, then she decides not to tell the High Council that there is a Jedi Master murderer running loose. None of the present Jedi disagree, sure. Why didn't you tell me there was a chance this Poor girl survived. Goodbye, pickles. All of this bullshit because Jedi didn't check for survivors. Anyway, they are cutting back and forward between the bad guys and the other retards. And you almost don't notice that the only thing that is happening in this episode is that they walk for 30 minutes before cutting to credits at random. Go! You're wasting my time! Anyway, Samsung Master is trying to convince Oshit that the animal torturer and murderer is a good person. And Oshit is like, She's a murderer. Hmm, I feel like they should reverse the roles. Oshit should be the one begging Squid Game to join him on the hunt for Mob because she still likes her sister. And Squid Game should be like, Nah, bitch, your aim sucks. But I'm not wearing that civilian robe. <gasps> OMG, guys! She is so wearing that civilian robe! Ah! Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. <gasps> and the best shit in Echo shit so far. Kurva bobr. Oh, can I just... Why this giant fuck of ship needs a hyperspace ring? The Jedi fighters had them because they were very small. But this is a bigger ship in... <laughs> fuck it. We're looking for a Wookiee. He's big and hairy. Bitch, have you ever seen hairless Wookiee? You're gonna need to hand that blaster over. What? 
It's mine now. So she stole the gun. You know what? I'm not gonna say anything. Listen to this dialogue. The locals say he ventured off into the forest and never came back. Kalaka is in there. Well, no shit. Anyway, they gave Chewbacca's uh, camp sock to the beaver and he's going to drag him. Cut to the bad retards and cut back to the good retards. Because oh shit sensed that the bug was alive and had awakened him, Master Squid Game had to end him. <laughs> it wouldn't be our protagonist without some dead animals. We're not defined by what we lose. We're defined by what we survive. You've survived a lot. She survived one thing. Or I guess she had to endure these cans and not kill herself. Okay, okay, I take that back. She's a survivor. I don't see him. What? Basil. Great! How the fuck a the Jedi and person of color with stolen gun lose a beaver? Yeah, even though Mob and the store owner had almost two day head start, they caught up to them. I don't need to do this anymore. I don't need to kill a Jedi without a weapon. I don't need to keep this deal. What? You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. After the murder of Trinity, attempted murder on this woman, attempted murder on bar owner, after bullying a trans master, she decides, I'm done here, I wanna go home. Every what time I going? think this show can get any more retarded, it somehow does. You know, for us, this guy is a killer and uh, accomplice to murder, but for Mob, he is kinda her only friend and she just leaves him hanging in the murder forest? Sure. You wouldn't let me confront my own Omega. You weren't ready. But I'm ready now. What? You said this to Gabriel. And she doesn't listen to me. You need to stop her. I won't be able to do it. This is fucking retarded. <sighs> The beaver was chilling 15 meters from Chewie's house, didn't say shit. Now he start to scream because of Mob. Is the beaver working with the Sith? Mob runs into a Chewie's house and... Oh shit! He had a shaving accident. Anywho, Mob is surrounded. Why is she not going out? She was about to give herself up. What is one more Jedi Master? Is it because of the Sith Lord is gonna fuck everybody up and Mob is gonna save the day? Yeah, it's a bullshit head lady, right? Why would he left Oshit alive? 